What's happening, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Hope you have a lovely day. Right now, for myself, it is Saturday, early afternoon. I just walked back in from doing a little bit of grocery shopping, helping the wife out really quick. Just I told her, you go to these two stores, I'll go to these two stores, we'll meet back in the middle, and you got yourself a bingo. Uh, so, or is that how you Americans say it? Uh, it's a bingo? It's just bingo. Uh, anyways. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the next track, Cat Stevens, T for the Tillerman, which is going to be Miles from Nowhere. And I don't know about you, but if you've ever been like in the middle of nowhere, where you don't know when the next time you're going to see people is, it can be kind of scary. <laughs> Sometimes it can be freeing, depending on where you are. But like if you're in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of night, I mean, it can be peaceful in one way, but kind of scary on the other hand. Thank you guys for being here. Let's go ahead and move on to the music. Miles from Nowhere, Cat Stevens. Well, let's go. Miles from nowhere Guess I'll take my time Lord, my body It's been a good friend Absolutely perfect, okay? I love that. I think that... Listen, I want to... Not now, Lisa. Go What are you doing? Okay. Tell me what you guys thought. Tell me what you felt during that. I want to know not what you thought. Let's take away your mental. Let's take away the thoughts. Let's put in the heart. Let's talk about the deeper connection. Did you guys feel something from that? Because I felt strong emotions in that one. First of all, the movement of it, the composition, even the sound of it is very gospel-y. Puts me into a church, but like a cool church. Like, <laughs> like I'm not calling, you know, I'm not talking like, you know, cool youth pastor uh, <laughs> or whatever it's called, church. I'm talking like just cool, you know? The message here is spiritual in a sense. It's self-spiritual, but there's so much depth to it. There's a reality to it as well. I love the line. Love the line. Lord, my body has been a good friend, but I won't need it when I reach the end. Can I tell you? I don't even need to necessarily look at the rest of the lyrics here. You can get so much from just those two lines. It's a powerful statement. I love that. But getting back to the music itself, the piano, bop, 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 just them jamming on the chords, uh, the drums pummeling up with it. I just really like the energy here. And like I said, it is a divine energy that I'm feeling here. But maybe, maybe less divinity, more, as I said, self-spirituality. A look within yourself. Uh, to find your own truth and your own meaning and f uh, foresee the future and where you're going to be going from there on. Because he does also describe a road, which typically is representative of life. And, you know, he's talking about life in this part uh, or in this song, rather, um, and where he's going from here. And even the song title, Miles From Nowhere. Yes, in some ways, he's describing a physical being in the middle of nowhere and not knowing necessarily where he's going. But as I mentioned... He's also talking for himself in a spiritual sense. His body won't be there forever. It's been a good friend, had a good time with it, but he's looking ahead. So perhaps he's having a spiritual, I don't want to say crisis, but reflection on, you know, maybe he feels miles from nowhere spiritually. I don't know. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm kind of feeling like. He's, he's looking for his next destination but in a deeper sense, you know, more metaphysical rather than the physical, although he does relate the two. This was a really good track. I love the way he sings out as well. He cries out uh, when he gets in that into that rapturous moment. I, It's just, it feels real. This feels real to me. Miles from nowhere, guess I'll take my time. Oh yeah, to reach there. Look up at the mountain I have to climb. Oh yeah, to reach there. Lord, my body has been a good friend, but I won't need it when I reach the end. Miles from nowhere, guess I'll take my time to reach there. I like how he's also enjoying the journey. He's not in a rush to reach there. Now, that there, that mountain, can be the end of life. It could be death. But like I said, I think he's more thinking deeper and perhaps even after that. You know, he's not in a rush to, to find the answers, to find the truth. So he's just kind of enjoying the journey. But he's thinking about that. I creep through the valleys and I grip through the woods because I know when I find it, my honey, it's going to make me feel good. I love everything, so don't it make you feel sad, because I'll drink to you, my baby. I'll think to that. I think to that. I like the change where he says, I'll drink to you, and then he says, I'll think to that. You know, there's, there's thought here in this track. Miles from nowhere, not a soul in sight. 
oh yeah, but it's all right. I have my freedom. I can make my own rules. The ones that I choose. And he repeats the body has been a good friend. So he realizes that because he's in, you know, he's miles from nowhere. He can choose his own rules, his own morality. But now he's thinking ahead. He's thinking uh, to that after, that after point. And then the ending. Miles from nowhere. Guess I'll take my time. Oh yeah, to reach there. That's, I think that this was a very powerful song, especially because of the instrumental backing behind it, like I said, it puts me into like that gospel-y, churchy kind of sound, and the lyrics thoughtfully reflect that. So, great track, great track. Hey, let me know what you guys thought of the track. You can let me know in the comments down below. You didn't see that. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for your presence. I'll see you all later. Bye. <laughs>